What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge It Up. For today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going from a location to another location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do autopilot from home to the first destination on the highway. On the way to the second destination, I'll do autopilot on actual streets and roads to see how it does and how it works with stop signs, stop lights. Get going. So I'm obviously just going to be driving normally. No differences. I'm not going to change anything from my driving style or anything like that. I'm actually going to be playing music as well in the background. Yeah, we'll just go through different things that stuff come up with the autopilot. As we do that, skim through the video, make it go quicker or slower and then explain different portions if I need to. And then we'll just go from there. Right now we're on a small rural, small little rural street. It's uh, 40 kilometers is the maximum. Right now the autopilot sign is not coming up but the instrument cluster right over here and that is because um, as of right now there are no lines however I have previously seen it pop up um, but then it just quickly goes away so up until we get to the main road I will not see an actual autopilot symbol all right so now that we're on the main street I'm actually going to go into autopilot what I'm actually going to also do is put in a destination. As soon as it sees the stoplight, it's actually going to come to a stop here on its own. Don't have to do anything. Right before I did turn red, it was green for a second and I was asking if it's okay for it to proceed, but then obviously it came up not to. So that's that there. What is this horrendous thing beside me? what is this horrendous thing beside me oh my god um anyways so right now we're at a red light i'm not gonna do anything i'm actually might let this car in front of me or beside me proceed further because this thing just looks horrendous i mean and, and it's definitely on purpose not by accident so that's definitely different so right now as i look at the screen everything looks fine except for at the bottom it says on autopilot unable to proceed please take over i've seen this a couple times but then it actually just does proceed on its own as you can see right now so it does take off on its own and it'll start doing things on its own here so i'm just going to take all over here for a second because this is the on ramp section which it doesn't do yet and there's a bunch of construction going on there are lines oh maybe you can see it right here look at that look at that ugly thing right there what the hell is that jesus anyways <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, that's just my opinion obviously, but yeah. So get into autopilot here. Let's get the max up. We'll change lanes here. Autopilot. And then we'll change here again. Now since we're here, I'm gonna go to I navigate on autopilot. We're going to change lanes once again. And you can see autopilot is actually telling me, navigator autopilot is telling me an upcoming lane change is coming. So all I have to do at this point is actually hit the lane change and it'll change lanes. Just because I saw that, that it came up. So we'll let the car take over as of right now. Right now I've got the maximum speed set to 120 kilometers per hour. So we'll let that take over and let the car do Oh, that's a nice off arrow arrow right there. Nice, nice and clean too. I gotta take this guy to get clean. So now we are in the far left lane and we are set to go and join the express lane. The truck's in front of me here. We'll change lanes along with the truck here. The truck's coming beside us as well. We'll change lanes again here. Play Congratulations by Post Malone. Just that simple to pull up a song. So we're clearly, obviously, we are clearly doing 120 and then when we come up to a vehicle ahead of us, it'll actually slow down to the length of the car length that we have. Right now I've got it at one, but obviously you can do six or anything like that. I have it at one. Now on the screen right here, you can actually say up 
it, you can actually see that it has an upcoming lane change. So there's a truck obviously coming there, so the car will slow down. Now once the truck on the right goes, I will confirm the lane change. So it's telling me right now there's a lane change coming, so do it. <laughs> so there's the confirm lane change and the lane change will happen. So now we're coming up to a uh, change in, in highways. So we'll go from highway 401 to highway 404. Coming lane change. I'm gonna wait until it does it on its own, so. I'm gonna let the autopilot do everything on its own here. I'm not gonna touch anything. And as you can see, it signals on its own, changes lanes. I'll pull this down just in case there's traffic ahead because sometimes um, it's a little bit different here. So it was a little bit crazier there, so that's fine. So here, oh, it needed to be corrected here, so that was not a good transfer. We'll speed up here. See, it slowed down for some reason. I guess it slowed down because I saw the car coming, but. So I'm gonna get it to change lanes here just because it's the far right lane and that is the off-ramp lane coming up. That I wanna be in. Here a little bit. Or actually it changed automatically to 100. Now down to 90 for the off-ramp. And then in 200 meters, 100 meters, it says that it's gonna let me take over. Still not taking over yet. So we'll see what it does once we go ahead because it needs to go straight. We need to go straight for the first destination. One thing I don't like about autopilot right now, whether it be on the highway or on regular roads or city roads or anything like that, is that it doesn't actually avoid potholes. And that is huge here in Canada at least, at least in Toronto it is, it's super annoying. But the annoyance is that um, it hits every single pothole almost, or manhole cover. And manhole covers are usually a little bit lower down too than the road, so manhole covers are technically potholes here, <laughs> so it's super annoying. Um, that's one thing I wish it did do is avoid, avoid potholes that are in your lane. Not to obviously juke or jerk the, the steering wheel around and the car around, obviously in your lane, but if there's a way to get around it in your lane, then yeah, I'd like to see that. So we do have a stop sign coming up here, and we'll see what it says. It's asking me to apply my hands to it. So the stop sign's right over there, and let's see how the car goes. So again, see it right into the manhole cover there. So stopping for traffic control in 100 meters. <clears throat> so it'll stop at the stop sign. And then I'll tell it to continue. And it's going right through. So I'm curious to see um, how the, it does this turn actually, because this turn is actually pretty, 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 pretty narrow. It's almost like a 90 here. So let's see how this does. Oh, no, it asked me to take over, which I did. <laughs> so I took over there. And we've arrived to our first destination. <laughs>